All right, well, a beautiful day in comparison to yesterday where we saw all the clouds and rain and temperatures weren't, weren't too bad for us either. But uh, because of all the clouds and rain yesterday, it wasn't quite as warm as what we saw earlier this week with a high of 71. Well, it was at 62 degrees, so uh, not too much of a differential in terms of our temperatures throughout the afternoon. Only uh, made our way upwards about 9 degrees throughout the day. Normal highs at 71, normal lows at 51 degrees, so our low was the only one that was well off of the average uh, for this time of the year. Record high back the years of 1983 and 2008 was at 90 degrees. So we weren't anywhere near that and it looks like uh, we won't be seeing that type of warm air anytime soon. Sunrise now at 7 11 a.m. and sunsets at 8 28 p.m. But here's a look at today's highs. We saw a little more of that sunshine. So things warmed up nicely for us. Marquette at 74, 77 in Iron Mountain, 76 in Ontonagon at 75 for your high back into Houghton. Your current winds coming in from the northwest or northeast, sorry, at 7 in Houghton, 10 into Marquette, while at 5 in Munising and 7 in Escanaba. Winds should die off as we head throughout the night, but then pick up once again as we go into tomorrow afternoon, uh, mostly likely coming out of the southeast, but mostly clear and still muggy out there. We did get rid of the rain, got rid of the extremely hot temperatures, but the humidity, it will still around today. It looks like it will be around even as we go between the end of the work week and on into the weekend. Though tomorrow it looks pleasant for us as we'll have highs make their way into the upper 70s and the lower 80s once again for us. But warmer temperatures are on the way for us as we get into the weekend. It looks like all of us will be back into the 80s. So uh, definitely prepare for that. More of that warm air is coming, but it doesn't look to be quite as warm as earlier this week as we saw more of those upper 80s, only the low to mid 80s uh, over Saturday and Sunday. But here's a look at our setup, you'll notice that as we head into uh, the overnight, all the rain will be well off to our south. That warmth uh, starting to build back into the northern plains, northern Midwest. That will work its way eastward and eventually arrive as we go into the next two days. Another system beginning to get its act together back towards North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota. Uh, won't be providing rain for us just yet. It's going to work its way eastward and eventually find its way into the Great Lakes and give us some chances of rain as we get into Sunday and Monday. But it looks like as we go into the beginning of the weekend, we stay dry and then Sunday we'll be looking out for the system to arrive as we go later into the afternoon and the evening. Future cast throughout the night, mostly clear skies, just a few passing clouds from here to there as we go into our Friday. Should be partly to mostly sunny across the region. Not expecting much activity as we go into Saturday. A few more clouds in store for us and then getting closer to Sunday. That's when the moisture will start to uh, get closer and closer to the region and that will provide a chance of rain for us as we go into Sunday and Monday. As I stated earlier, tonight we'll drop down to 59 degrees, clear and quiet. Winds uh, should be pretty light for us and then come out of the southeast as we go into tomorrow afternoon, around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Warm and mostly sunny. Look at highs, though, beginning to rebound back into the upper 70s in Lawrence at 78 degrees. Also seeing that number in Houghton, 81 degrees in Ontonagon, more the lower 80s in Crystal Falls, Florence, and in Iron Mountain. We'll call for the middle 70s in Escanaba and Manistique. Munising will be at 82 degrees and Marquette will be at 77, but it does look to be a pretty nice afternoon for us. Temperatures just a little off of their averages as average highs should be in the lower 70s during this time of the year. We'll be in the upper 70s and the lower 80s. Your day planner starting off at 61 degrees tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. and to the afternoon, a few passing clouds. Highs in the upper 70s will drop down to 69 degrees by tomorrow night for your overnight low. So see a lot more of that milder air arriving, also a little more of that humidity. So uh, pretty muggy and sticky evening for us as we go into Friday. Friday night. Your Friday forecast 77 80 will be at that on Saturday with lows in the upper 60s and the lower 70s. Rain stays away for the next few days, but we are seeing rain come in by Sunday as highs make their way into the lower 80s. 30% chance on Sunday. On Monday, it looks like the brunt of that system will come through, providing the heaviest rainfall for us. But notice how temperatures begin to drop back off for us. We'll be in the upper 70s by Monday and we'll drop all the way down into the lower 60s by Thursday. So a much cooler air mass beginning to work its way in from the northwest as we go into next week. So we'll drop a good 20 degrees from Sunday's highs into Thursday's highs. And also during the night, that will be a lot more comfortable for us as well as we'll go from the 60s down into the 40s.